Please welcome Councillor Gott. Thanks, Jana, and thanks so much for everybody for being here and for uh, the excitement around this event. I, um, I'm uh, Hillary Goff, I'm the City Councillor for Ward 2, and I also uh, have the honour of serving on the Public Library Board of Directors. And uh, as I've started that role, I've come to learn more and more and more about what the Public Library does. And it's so much more than lending out books. And as I learn these things, I get more and more and more excited about this public library that I've been using my entire life. And I remember when I was young uh, and in between school years, I would engage in the, in the program where you read books and you wrote them on a, a card and you got to come in and exchange it for a cold treat. And I know that this is... <laughs> This is a little bit more. Uh, this is a little bit more than that, um, and I think there's something similar to that still going on. But uh, but I remember that being a highlight of my summer because I would spend my summers out of town, but we would make sure to be here often enough to uh, get out new books and make sure to have enough books at the lake so that I could finish up my reading card and come in and get a treat every 10 books, I think it was. So um, it, it was a huge part of my summers as a kid, and uh, and those summers can can uh, you know, feel a little long sometimes when the weather's dim and uh, it's great to have opportunities to, to get excited and engaged in something. And um, at, on, on behalf of my colleagues on council and Mayor Charlie Clark who couldn't be here today, I want to congratulate the Saskatoon Public Library for the work they've done in this project and the work they continue to do on so many others. Uh, because it really is about ongoing learning for all of us, not just when we're kids, uh, but when we're you know, in our career stages and well out and in between. Uh, lifelong learning is really what enables us to have opportunities to, to get invited to do new things because we have new skills um, and to create opportunities for ourselves. And so I've already chosen my first challenge. I don't know if you've chosen yours, but mine will be to learn how to say hello in uh, five different languages. And I think I'm at about four, so I'm going to extend mine to closer to ten. Um, because, because lifelong learning is part of what we create opportunities for, but it's also you know, how we become a stronger city together. It's also how we work on things like reconciliation together. If we don't take time to learn about one another, if we don't take time to learn about the world, the environment around us, um, if we don't make those, set those goals and do those things, be they small or big, um, then it, you know, we're, not, uh, we're not doing our part to move forward together and move forward together in a way that's, that's fair and that's equal and that is full of opportunity for everybody. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you to the Saskatoon Public Library for all of their work on this, this program and so many others that we all get to enjoy and uh, enjoy the rest of the ceremonies. Thank you. Now please welcome Miranda. And Miranda is gonna to explain to you how the Olympics works. Good morning, Saskatoon! We are gearing up for an amazing summer, 2017, and we want to help you get smart. Who doesn't want to get smart this summer? So the No Olympics is an all-ages, all-stages, birth through 99 and above, if you're lucky to make that, um, which means it's open to babies, kids, teens, and adults, seniors, and every everybody, um, it runs starting today through till the uh, till August 25th. To participate, you need a passport, but you can pick it up today or any of our locations, or you can download it from our website saskatoonlibrary.ca. We have uh, 12 different categories of learning, and we have suggested some learning uh, challenges. But if those don't appeal to you, create your own. Uh, as long as you're learning, that's the most important thing. So the categories include cultural, uh, civic, arts, reading, writing, numeracy, digital, science and technology. So there's something that will interest everyone. So have a look and do some challenges. Once you've registered, uh, you can complete as many or as few challenges as you want. And if you're somebody like me that's motivated by uh, prizes, we have weekly prizes. We've worked with a lot of sponsors to have a great big prize at the end. 
Um, if you're interested in getting uh, bragging rights, and this is the No Olympics, we're going to have a, ma a medal ceremony uh, at the end, so turn in your passport and show how many challenges you've done, and you can be part of that. Um, to win a medal, you must complete the most challenges in your age bracket and drop off your passport at any SPL location. So remember, learning challenges that make that you make up will count towards your total. So let's do this, Saskatoon. Let's be the smartest city in Canada. What do you think? Yay! Yay! Thanks, Miranda. Okay, so until 3 o'clock today, we've got challenge venues set up all over the library. There's a registration table upstairs where you can get more information and a little handout of what's happening today. Um, we've also got a photo booth if you want to get your picture taken with the torch and a gold medal. We've got that set up upstairs. I'd like to thank all of our opening ceremonies partners. We've worked with a lot of community partners today to be able to put this event on. So I'd like to thank CHEP Good Food Inc., the City of Saskatoon, Frontier College, Jack Pine Press, Office of the Treaty, Treaty Commissioner, Reed Saskatoon, the Saskatoon Health Region, Sci-Fi Science Camps, and Ramey Modern. So, in order to be eligible to win the grand prize and the weekly prizes, you need to be registered. So you can do that upstairs as well. Um, we've got one great big prize at the end, and it is an amazing Saskatoon experience package. So our prize sponsors for that are Apex Trampoline Park, the Children's Discovery Museum, Dragon's Den Games, Flynn's Indoor Playground, Indigo, the Night Oven Bakery, Persephone Theatre, Prairie Lily Boat Tours, Saskatchewan Rush, Saskatoon Blades, U of S Huskies, the Western Development Museum, Saskatoon Comic and Entertainment Expo, and Friends of the Library. So the only thing left to do is to officially declare the No Olympics open. So I'm going to need you to count down with me. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So have a great time today and thank you for coming and have a great Saturday.